Today I'm putting together my first homemade birdie mash. I'm Jendi from jendysjournal.com and we have five birds in our house. This is the Eclectus Noah and getting the Eclectus kind of pushed me over the edge to making more of my own bird food. You have to be especially careful of their diet. They have a longer digestive tract. It affects their feathers and I'm not sure of all of it. I'm, I'm reading about it in this book. In this book, there is a recipe for birdie mash and I am going to put that together tonight, right now. So this is about five cups of cooked beans. It can be any kind of dried beans. I actually have them a little bit undercooked. All the stuff's a little bit undercooked so that uh, when I reheat it after it's frozen, it doesn't totally go to mush. And the birds can still have a little bit to, <laughs> to chew on, not just mush it. So I have the beans. And then I have about five cups of brown rice to mix in. I did drain and wash all of these. Two cups of vegetable routine and this is cooked I cooked it about halfway so it's a little mushy but not total mush and if you saw it's green I got this kind I found this barilla rotini it's actually made of zucchini and spinach so that's that's why it's green and it's better much better for the birds because it's made from the vegetables and then I have some frozen things two bags of peas and carrots well, this is 16 ounces. That calls for 20 ounces. It was hard to get the right. This is two pounds, 32 ounces. That calls for 40 ounces, but yeah, I think the bags are different than when the book was written. And I don't know that this is going to fit. Pause for a minute while I figure out my bowl situation. I'll be right back. It's a good thing I can freeze this. Cause this is gonna last my birds a long time. And you know, it really wasn't that expensive. Like I didn't even use the whole box of pasta and that was only a dollar. And you know, the, these bags, because it's like the Walmart brand, they're, this was like $2 and a little bag for a dollar. So it's one, two, three, four. The rice, I didn't use the whole bag of rice. The beans are really cheap. It's like cheap stuff. Okay, now I gotta mix it up. You might be saying, Jendi, why are you doing this? Why don't you just feed them seed? Okay, when a bird lives in the wild, they don't eat just seed. Yes, they can survive on just seed, but they will get better nutrition. They could live longer and healthier if they have food and not just seed. I said I used to feed my birds fresh fruits and vegetables just every day alongside their seed, and that's fine, that works well, but even buying nutrient, uh, d even, even buying vitamin enhanced seed, often the vitamins are just on the shell of the seed, which the bird throws away and eats the inside. And so this way, the nutrients are in all the food. We still do give the bird some seed. We give the eclectus here a quarter cup every night. If you give him a lot of seed, he won't eat the other food. It, because, of course, everybody likes junk food better, even birds. I can give this mixture, I can give it to the finches, the lovebird, the African gray, and the eclectus. It's good for all of them. Isn't this so colorful? Can you see it? I don't, it, it looks pretty and colorful. I think I got it mixed pretty well. I'm seeing a nice mixture of all the colors. All I have to do now is I'm gonna put it in baggies and freeze it so then the plan is each night just take a bag out and put it in the fridge and then in the morning warm it up for the birds. <laughs> I'm going to freeze it in about three-fourths cup much. This will be enough for one day for my birds. I give them a mash mixture at breakfast. At supper time, I give them some fresh fruits and vegetables because I usually cut up for the kids and then I cut up for the birds. And then we give the uh, seed at night. So here's hoping that they like it and they eat it. <laughs> it's 
not, I got a lot of vegetables to eat. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel before you go. I'm sure I'll talk more about the birds. If you like this video or know someone that wants to make some bird mash, send it to them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.